As protests continue over the death of Daniel Prude, the First Amendment remains a topic of discussion. Freedom of speech and assembly in particular have been tested these past couple weeks here in Rochester. Kayla Green sat down with a local lawyer, a legal expert, to get his take on what everyone's rights are in all of this. Attorney Mike Berger says the Bill of Rights is at the core of constitutional rights given to each and every person in our country. But he says legally, these things can get murky. Mike Berger says exercising the rights protected under the First Amendment is one of the few times citizens' rights trumps the government. When people assemble and they want to protest, particularly here in Rochester, which has a long tradition of that sort of activity, the government needs to stand shoulder to shoulder with them and protect those rights. However, he says there are circumstances where the government can override those rights, but it needs compelling interest to do so. It can't sweep broadly and say, well, we don't want um, any unrest, so we're going to have a curfew and keep everyone inside. That wouldn't be America anymore. Strike that balance between security and freedom. Protesters have said the police are taking a more aggressive path when they could be taking a more peaceful one. Berger says it becomes a gray area when there's violence on either side. From the police side, they may not know where a water bottle comes from. They may find that uh, after a few um, episodes of violence that the entire crowd being there is making it impossible for them to locate the people who are engaging in the crime. It becomes a a, a difficult question, how, how far should you go? If we're all shopping in Wegmans and a few people engage in shoplifting, grabbing everyone in Wegmans or pepper spraying the entire store is probably not the right reaction to that. He says while the government has a responsibility to make sure these protests go smoothly, citizens have the right to free speech in many forms, including yelling, screaming, singing, and sitting naked in front of City Hall. In Rochester, Kayla Green, News 8.